All right, guys. Hopefully, we're 18 coming at you. Sorry for the noise next door, but sometimes we have to deal with that. Um, we got a lot accomplished this week. We really uh, we tested our tooth pulley with our belt, and we're about to cut the gears. We're just getting the final cam ready for the gear cutting. Um, the interns were here today, and we did a lot of good work. We'll show some footage with the generator testing and uh, driving that with the drill just to see if we have our charge controller locked in. And uh, Ben was <laughs> having a fun time with that. Um, yeah, we worked really hard on that, but I missed my time on today. Started slowly. Ramping up. watts were we producing at max there? Uh, at your max there, you need less 349 watts. Yeah. A lot of torque. Yeah. Put it on there. It's fine. 349 watts, you need with 4.4 amps. Okay. Well, we couldn't get up to 500 RPM. We got up to 400 RPM though. And we can also tell it to draw more amps, you know, so. It'll be interesting to see what, what we're able to do when we have it on harmony. Yeah, if you guys want to, if you want me to increase the curve, I can do that. I think we'd burn out our drill yeah. at that point. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, that was a good cool. test. Thank you. We were able to carry a stand out now to what we had. Yep, and then uh, Ezra and Noah were, they were working on the CNC machine. We were cutting our big one inch thick piece of aluminum into four smaller pieces so that we can then use those smaller pieces to cut our gearing and had a lot of fun with that. Three of them are free right now. These la or I mean, two, are two of them are free. Well, they're held on by 40,000 so. All right. All right. Well. Safety. Yep. We're good. Yeah. All righty. No, go ahead. These are the pieces we're going to use to cut our gearing now. More manageable now. Yeah. <laughs> no one man can hold it. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. I know. We did get some time outside this week with the one kilowatt prototype, and although we didn't get a lot of footage in between the thunderstorms and the work that we were doing inside, we did snap a few photos of the unit up in the air, eight feet or so high. Right now, we can't really have the prototype out in the rain because the thrust bearings are not yet weatherproofed, but that will be coming as quickly as possible as we finish up the work that we're doing on the tooth pulleys and the gearing, and then, of course, we will weatherproof things and start taking it outside more and more. The good data that we need, the good wind that we really need to get the hard data is, of course, going to be when it's storming outside when we have bad weather. We just have a little bit of a conundrum because right now we mount the turbine, the unit is mounted to our forklift, and of course we don't want the forklift out there in the bad weather. So we're going to work through those problems, don't worry, it's not a big deal, but 
certainly something we need to keep in mind at this time. Yeah, no, no broken bits today. Oh, wow. It was good. And no broken Heimer tips, that's a good day. And we still have all our fingers too. Yeah. All 11. So, um, all 11 of them, nice. Yeah, at this point we're just chugging along. We have pieces and parts to make and fabricate so that we can get the generator hooked up and then we can start getting data. And then of course we're gonna be sitting here waiting for the wind to blow and you know, we can't control that, nope. but we can keep our fingers crossed. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for following what we're doing and coming along for the journey. And we'll keep posting our updates as we have more to put out each week. Catch, Catch you on, on the next twirl. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world.